Good morning out there, traders. It is July 2nd, 2024, and welcome to the Aptero's Daily Market Insight. Let's uh, dive into our recap here a little bit. So kind of an interesting session for us um, around this line in the sand down below. Now, remember what our basic premise was uh, yesterday was that if we ho hold inside of this particular area here, it was going to be a rotational context, kind of back and forth between those line in the sand areas. If we ended up seeing a breakdown, um, we were looking for uh, a push down below this particular neutral reference and a continuation of the downside. If we broke up kind of all the way up here, we didn't really need that one, so not going to cover it too much. Uh, but talking about what was going on around this line in the sand, very interesting yesterday. Uh, as we came into the open, we were kind of pulling back into this particular area here, got some really nice inflections out of this zone here. So staying along with scenario one uh, in this particular section here, it pushes up, never really does too much. Um, then there's like a little bit of a shift here. And we end up seeing the acceptance picture change. So scenario one breaking down, heading into scenario two, we end up getting a perfect trade for scenario two right off our line in the sand, right into the target. Um, and that really was the main opportunity for us there uh, in terms of the prep, in terms of the DMI, because after that, it just fizzled out, didn't go anywhere, didn't get the continuation opportunity to the downside, comes back up, um, you know, re no real, you know, crazy opportunity to get short again with without a major inflection here. Uh, and then, of course, it accepts back into scenario one, and then you get an opportunity coming into the close off of scenario one uh, line in the sand here. So really three spots to be involved based on the DMI here, here, and here. And they actually flip-flop between scenarios, scenario one, scenario two, and then scenario one again after the acceptance picture shifts um, with the acceptance picture kind of shifting here and um, then the acceptance picture kind of shifting here as well uh, for the different scenarios. So pretty straightforward in terms of line in the sand based trading, but it didn't end up, you know, following through on either side of the market, really. Okay, so our landscape today is definitely a little bit more bearish um, due to some of the shifting conditions that we're seeing. Uh, but we're not really seeing a ton of follow through yet on that side of the market. So we're in a bearish situation overall. And we have basically two areas from which um, looks more interesting from our analysis perspective. Our first line in the sand is a little bit down below here around the 20s. Um, the second line in the sand is a little higher up to the 42s. And that's really kind of the, the main two areas that we're paying attention to for the bears. The first line in the sand here is going to be a little bit more of a bearish scenario in that our shorter time frames are going to hold uh, to the bearish side of things, come back down here to retest these lows. And then if we get down below those lows, looking for that stretch target down into the 82s, um, and there is just like wide open space kind of underneath that. So the 82s really are more or less the the main target area that we're looking for uh, for the down move, at least for today. Um, now, taking a look at what's going on overall here, uh, scenario one would be a hold underneath this particular line of the sand. So if we get a pullback somewhere into that area, looking to the downside here um, for the retest of these lows that we've been putting in um, at the 05 levels here. And then if we get down below that, we got a possible continuation trade down into the 82s um, to 83, somewhere down into that zone uh, across this older value area that we built a while back. So that's kind of the idea there behind scenario one. With scenario two, it becomes a little bit more of a shift for the bulls uh, in the short term perspective. So if we're holding up above this line in the sand here, we're end up get, we got a chance to possibly scalp to the long side here. Um, into this neutral area here and then possibly back up into um, the 43s if we get above these highs here. So that's kind of the idea with scenario two. It isn't necessarily the better confluent picture between our, our time frames, but it is a kind of immediate market generated, you know, short term opportunity here with scenario two. Then, of course, we get back up into the line in the sand up above. This is more or less where I kind of see the line in the sand overall for the bearish context that we're seeing, um, which is kind of a grindy one, right? We are generally more bearish, but we're seeing some wider base rotations kind of happen um, in the ES. So the idea here is that if scenario two does manifest itself and it heads all the way back up into this area here, we're looking for a hold underneath that zone, um, and we have to kind of clear back into these references here. So getting down below underneath that, um, continues us down underneath there. So that would be a little bit more along the lines of scenario three. And then scenario four is a full melt kind of up from the uh, all the bearishness that we've kind of stacked in this particular area here. And if that happens, then we're looking at, you know, like 80s, 85s, kind of all-time high targeting, that kind of thing up there. 
Um, but overall, we have two areas uh, of interest for the Bears today. It just depends on whether or not it becomes a more bearish type of move today or it, you know, kind of becomes a little bit more of a rotational situation, um, in which case we find ourselves back inside of that older rotational value area that we had been talking about. Um, so kind of gravitating back into where the most of the trade has been um, over the last, you know, couple of weeks or so. So um, just, you know, keep that in mind, you know, in terms of the context and terms of the landscape of today. Uh, but overall, like I said, we broke down the scenarios a little bit more of a bear scenario. If we hold underneath this uh, first line in the sand, if we don't hold underneath there, it becomes a little bit more of a short term kind of bullish environment at that point uh, that we'll be paying attention to um, a little bit further up into another uh, bearish location up above. All right. So trade well, mind your risk, and let's have a wonderful trading day.